Is the Bufadora in Ensenada worth visiting? Hey cruisers, this is Jesse at Ensenada Skirts and Tours Ensenada Massage. I live here 13 years and a lot of people ask me, is the Bufadora worth going to? It's the most popular thing, we see it all over, it's tons of reviews. Um, so I want to give you my uh, two pesos of advice. It is a marine geyser, it's pretty cool. The waves crash into a cave. They pressurize the air, and then when the wave recedes, the pressurized air shoots the water up, and you get a splash. It's pretty cool. It's a marine geyser, not like Old Faithful in Yellowstone, where I hope to go next uh, couple months for a road trip. And it's, I believe, the largest or second largest in the world, um, and definitely the largest uh, in this hemisphere. Practically, it involves off the cruise boat, taking a 20 minute, uh, 40 minute drive. About 20 minutes of that is in the city, Nothing exciting, and in 20 minutes it's really quite beautiful along the ocean, some winding curves. And when you get out there, whether you go in a bus or a private excursion with us, uh, you're going to park and you're going to begin uh, your walk. You may have a guide if you go with a private group or just on your own if you're going with a bigger bus. And you got about a two blocks, uh, I call it a gauntlet, of souvenir uh, vendors uh, and tourism. Uh, these folks are professional uh, sellers. They've got candy nuts. They've got little daiquiri samples. They've got all kinds of strange, um, I would say strange uh, souvenirs. From shirts, of course, Mexican stuff, keychains, the random stuff, and stuff like models of the Predator from the 1980s Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Things you're like, why? Ah, hey, that's part of the fun, going to a country and seeing the weird stuff they have for sale. Um, yeah, and of course there's food. Lydia's is the fish taco place. It's quite well known and recommended. Bunch of other taco places. Uh, we can our guides will point some out to you. You can easily find you know baked clams with uh, cheese and shrimp inside. There's tons of margaritas, tons of daiquiris if you want some alcohol, and you know just good fish too. And there's even uh, I believe some lobster uh, places out there that you have to pay extra for uh, since it's way out there. Through these two blocks of vendors, you're going to come to the end, and the end is uh, the Marine Geyser. That's the uh, public part. There are some bathrooms there. Uh, not the cleanest in the world, but they are uh, functional and they work. The Geyser, you'll get to see the water shoot up in the air. Depending if the air is blowing right, the wind, you will get some splash on you. Get some cool pictures. Uh, and that's the experience. Is it worth it? So. If you're in a vacation mood, you want to get off the boat, take a ride, see some fun stuff, hang out with your friends, explore some weird souvenirs, eat some tacos, maybe have a, a tequila sample. Uh, we can guide you to that for free if you're with our guides. And so yeah, especially if you have a group and you're like, hey, what do I do with my group? I got some young ones, just walk, or some older folks who can't do adventure. Okay, Bufador is an easy thing. You can do a private tour with a company like ours, our bigger bus. There's plenty of those around. Uh, I don't recommend uh, taking an Uber uh, because they don't go out there to pick you up. They drop you off usually and get a little dicey. I would say in general it's a one and done kind of deal. You've done it once, hey it was a good experience. No need to do it again. Or if you already know you don't really like uh, touristy stuff, souvenirs, people selling you candies, you've done too much of that in too many countries, just skip it or add it on after something else if you're kind of on the fence add it on after zip line add it on after uh, kayaking add it on after ATV uh, those activities are oceanfront horseback riding those are out there real near the Bufadora at least where uh, my company takes folks so if you're doing an adventure you get an hour or so on a horse or ATV or zip line. It's pretty easy to take an extra 15 minute ride and then enjoy two hours at the Bufadora, eating, walking, and such. That way you don't feel like, hey, I just spent 45 minutes to come out and have people sell me souvenirs. He did some other fun stuff uh, and it was a good experience. So that's my two pesos of advice uh, based on living here for 13 years, having uh, Ensenada massage, Ensenada excursions, raising a couple dogs, and doing all this stuff uh, and seeing everybody's reactions. So yeah, the Bufadora is a, it's a good experience, one and done, uh, or add it on to something else. This is Jesse. I hope to see you in Baja. It's safe and fun.